everybody, Mike Iaconelli with my really good friend, Mike Breeding. Mike, it's always a treat to come up with you and fish this part of the world. This river is a smallmouth factory. I love coming up and fishing with you. Thanks for fishing with me today. Mike, it's always my pleasure to have you. The Susquehanna River, in my opinion, is the jewel of the East Coast. It's a gem, dude. I mean, it really is, and it's always my pleasure to have you aboard. And today, we actually get to fish together. I'm pretty excited about Dude, that. I'm stoked. All the years we fish together, most of the time, you're sort of like the El Captain. You're, you're, yeah. the, you're the guy that's guiding us. But today, we're fishing as a team. Yeah, and you know, for the first time, I, we're going to sit here with no pressure. No pressure. And, and, you know, just go out and go fishing. Yep. Just like everybody likes to do. Yep. You know, go fish. There you have it. All right, Susquehanna River, Grateful Guides, a little bit of plastics. Come on, let's go. Let's do it. I absolutely love, love, love the x rap What you know about that one? And believe it or not, if I only had one, if I only had one. Yeah. There it is right here. That's the color. That yeah. or Rusty Crawl. Man. A variation of that. Yeah. Here's the great thing, man, about, you know, you say you fish with people and you learn. Uh, man, I'm so lucky to have these years where I get to fish with different people. Now, I learned something from you about this jerk bait years ago fishing this river, which is you don't always have to fish it upstream. You can fish it downstream and hold it a lot. Is that still true out here? It's my favorite way to fish it yeah. because most of the time guiding, I'm jigging, and uh, if I get a chance to fish by myself, yeah, I like to throw a jerk bait because I can't do it while I'm guiding. I'm, I'll be in everybody's way right. doing it the way I like to right. do it. So when I like to jerk bait when the water gets in the 40s, yeah, and then goes down into the 30s, yeah, that's when I really like to jerk bait off of the back of the boat. Off the back of the boat. Off of the back of How the boat. That? What I'll do is I'll find a ledge and I'll look for bubbles and I'll see a current seam. I'll cast the bait across the current seam, reel it down three or four times, yeah, jig it once, let it come into the eddy. Let it sit there, Natural. give it a little teeny death twitch and just let it sit. Yep. Then I anticipate a strike. Yeah. That's a pretty interesting if you're watching. You know, the general rule of thumb in bass fishing for me is always casting upstream, letting the bait drift. And with plastics, that's true. But with this technique, super cool current river technique of letting the bait almost work itself down current. So fishing it reverse of what you've been taught, but it's deadly in this river. It's dead. And, and the most important thing that I can ever teach anyone about this technique is if you have spot lock, use it. Right. Spot lock will keep the bait in place. As soon as you throw the bait down in a good spot and you wind it down, if there's a fish in the general area, he's coming over to your bait and he's going to sit there and stare at your bait. He's going to do two things. He's either attack it or he's going to sit there and he's going to decide whether he's going to hit it or not. Then you've got to make the fish bite by little teeny twitches, yeah. long pauses. Yeah. Long pauses. Cold water, long pauses, husky jerk, x wrap. come on. Always amazes me at how you have to read this water, you know? Like, if you look at it with blinders on, it all looks the same. <laughs> it looks like a hundred river miles is the exact same, but there's subtleties out here, man. And the current and eddies. Shallow meat, shallow meat. Yes. This is gonna sound hard to believe, but you know, with soft plastics, power bait, max scent, and scent it. You don't need to worry about it. But the X-Wrap hard bait, I was actually taking some of this scent. And I, you know, I usually don't do it on hard baits, but I was literally just I'm putting that scent on the hard bait, and I think it's because we were fishing them so slow, I really think it made a big difference. So, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Cold air, cold water, cold fishing. All right, you know, tough morning, tough start. Uh, we fished downriver, water temperature dropped like six degrees in the last few days, and it's freezing out here. If you don't believe me, there's ice over here, I'm gonna show you. Look at this, ice on the riverbank. Uh, air temperature in the 30s, water temperature in the 30s, so we made a move. Instead of doing it by boat, we drove here, trying the north end of the river. Hopefully this move will pay off. 
with some nice smallmouth. I don't know if you can see that, but this is the great thing. I, I mentioned it earlier, but the great thing about fishing with different people is you learn a lot. And one of the things I've learned from Mike over the years is really to look at bubbles are key, right? Absolutely. Bubbles are key. I'm a bubble watcher. Dude, they tell you a lot. I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but the bubbles will tell you where to fish and how them fish are setting up. And if you look at this spot, you can see there's flow, heavy flow, there's dead calm, and then there's that in-between water. And if you look at that in-between water, you can see all those white bubbles on the top. That's that's key juice right there, man. Like key key. Super key. Got you a bite? Yeah, finally, Mikey. Sure. Got him all the way down by the island. Hell yeah. All right. First bite of the day, guys. Listen to me. This is an important fish. I don't care if it's two pounds, eight pounds, or 12 inches. You got to break the ice, and this is an icebreaker. Yeah, that's a good one. Thank you, Mike. Come on, Mike. That's a good one. Mr. Heck yeah! Mr. Bottom Heck Tooth. Heck yeah! Mr. Bottom Tooth. <laughs> All right, now, explain something to me. A lot of guys catch these smallmouths and they have them weird dots on them. See, look on, look on his side here. I want you to show the camera. What is that? Is this so, a chameleon track just from them getting low and taking on a little bottom, or what is that? It's, it's what they, a lot of people think it's a virus, Mike. It's interesting. Yeah. Like beauty marks. But I do notice when they get this on them a lot, yeah. they're laying in the bottom with a lot of leaf on them. That's what I, that's what I, I see that with large mouth and that's what I think happens. Heck yeah. So the, the other ones where they get the spots, yeah. that's the virus. But with that, that stuff on the bottom there, I, I find that when they're laying close to the bottom because it's cold with leaves. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of that chameleon, chameleon effect, man. That like was a, the actual dead stick. That was a dead stick. There, and I was going to move back with the trolling motor. Yeah. There. <laughs> what a cool way to catch him on a jerk bait. It still amazes so me, I man. I threw out into the current. Yeah. As far as I could, and when it got in, it kind of just sat there. Yeah. What a cool way to fish so a jerk bait. I noticed yesterday, it dropped a little bit, uh, uh, dropped about a degree today, Mike. Yeah. But yesterday, if you were in this dead calm. Yeah. It took a lot longer to get a bite and then if you were on this current scene itself. Gotcha, yeah. There he goes. I'll just sit it there. Got him, Mike. Yes. You guys, you guys, Not a big one. Not a big one. Not a big one, but it's my first smallmouth of the day. And he's fighting good in this cold water. <laughs> we got him hooked in the face here. Yeah. Ah. Pale, look, pale rider. Look at that. That's a great look at that bite. This is, uh, this is amazing. Listen to me. The great thing about fishing is there are no rules in fishing. It's one of the things I love about the sport. Uh, and if you're a current fisherman, a river fisherman, consider this technique when it's cold. Fishing a jerkbait or a crankbait down current, letting the bait sit motionless, letting that current just move it, uh, it's a killer. Mike, thanks for teaching me this years ago because it is a killer technique in rivers, man. Look at that. What a cool fish. Heck yeah. All right, there you go. Thank you. Mwah. Got him, got him. Another one. Same technique, guys. That's that. You want to call it dead stick in a hard jerk bait? That's a dead stick. You want to call it back trolling? Whatever you want to call this technique. That looks like a better fish. Not too bad. That's a better fish. Heck yeah, that's a better fish. Hell yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. That's a Susquehanna River. They can, right there. I just like that they can pull like this, Mike, when it's 35 degrees. Oh, yeah. That's a better one, though. Because you know if you fell in there, you, know, you lose a lot of your fight. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, guys. That's the kind that I like. Look at the size. Got those same spots, Mike. Heck, yeah. Two and, two and a half. Two and three quarter. 
Two and a half? Boy, that x is deadly, man. It is. What a deadly bait. I just, bought, I just bought four dozen of them. Beautiful fish. Look at that thing, guys. I mean, that thing, as cold as it is, it's amazing how hard these things pull in current, you know? Solid muscle. Just solid fish. I love the color of those fish, too, this time of the year. He was quite a ways back there, that one. He yeah, was. So I'm gonna, with that being said, I'm gonna drift this back about 10 yeah. feet more. Hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Big one. Big one. Look, that thing was the fucking shit. Oh, look at that big one! That's it! That's it! Oh, I don't know. Ah! He's jumping in 36 degree water! He's jumping in 36 degree water! Ah. Oh, please, please stay on there. Please stay on there. <laughs> Mike's like, bite? Nah. Dink! Oh, big one, dude. Big, 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 big. Yeah, big, big, big. Big, big. Oh, big. He got a cigar, guys. Oh, God. Please. 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 Oh, man, a brute. A brute. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, he's got a cigar. Yeah! 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 Ah! Yeah! 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 Oh man! Oh, thank you, Mike. Dude! <laughs> Listen to me. If you're at home and you're cold and you're mad because you're not fishing because it's too cold. Get out there. 30 degree air temperature today. 36 degree water temperature today. And? That's the sauce on this one, Mike. Big giant four pound smallmouth today. Yeah! Look at that. Dude, if that's not a good look at, at what we're doing here today. Um, li listen to me, this is just incredible. I've been fishing a long time. I'm 50, been fishing for 30 years, and this technique is a killer, guys. Current fishing, river fishing, I learned this from Mike. Uh, try this down current presentation with these jerk baits. Phenomenal, phenomenal way to, to catch these fish this time of the year. Deadly and cold Dude, water. Dude, deadly and cold water. And so that's that x wrap that we've been talking about all day. That's that smaller one. Uh, I saw Mike catch two. I went from the from the big size to the eight. I think this is. Yes. And the hot uh, steel. Hot steel and uh, hot steel. beautiful smallmouth, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. All worth it, right there. Golly, it just never ceases to amaze me how good they fight. In this cold water, you think they're gonna come in like wet socks? No, they fight like crazy. Everybody, uh, there you got it, man. Listen to me. Um, as you're watching this video, click down on the link. Uh, we've got the baits, the rods, the reels, and of course, a link to Mike. Uh, if you're up here on the Upper Susquehanna, come out and fish with Mike, one of the best on the river, a good friend of mine, great guy. And you catch fish like that, even when it's cold! Yeah! Let this thing go. Thank you, baby. Mwah! Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Thank you. And there it goes. Yeah! 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 Oh, that was so awesome. Oh, it never gets old, man. It never sure. gets old, dude. The anticipation. It never scared. gets old, dude. It never gets old. This That's the crazy thing. You tell people, oh, man, aren't you bored? You've been doing it your whole life. Oh, you fished, you fished up on that Susquehanna every year. Nah, dude. <laughs> Nah, it doesn't get old. It really does. Nah, it does not get old, dude. There's a big one. There's a big one.
There's a big one. There's a big one. There's a big one. There's a big one. There's a big one. There's a big one. There's a big one. There's a big one. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> that was big as that last one, but it's a good one. They're all good in the sun. Oh, I, right? I, got, I got this one. Oh, you got it? Yeah, yeah, I'll let you go. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to lose Look at the size of that thing for how short he is. Dude, talk about a weird looking fish, guys. Look at this thing. Oh. <laughs> what the? Look at him. He looks like me. <laughs> he looks like me. He's short and fat. What the hell? Dude, what a bizarre looking fish. I cannot wait to let this one go. That one's gonna grow up to be like a 10 pounder, dude. Look at the size of that thing. Dude, what an odd fish. That fish is not, that fish is not 15 inches long and he is just almost, I bet you he's close to three pounds. And look, <laughs> I mean, that is, that's an odd looking fish right there. Um, this is testament to Kevin. This is testament to uh, how these fish are eating. Uh, Upper Susquehanna River, they've got big forage base here from bait fish to crawfish. But look at the size of that thing, dude. That is one of the strangest fish I've ever caught. I bet you he's not 15 inches. He's probably about 14 and three quarter. I got a ruler. But it is. If it's not three pounds, it's just right there. That's incredible, dude. What an odd looking fish. Uh, another fish on that little X wrap, uh, same thing. Uh, you, you, you're gonna watch it in this whole video. You're gonna see us fishing downstream with jerk baits, letting it sit. Cold water killer. Guys, if you're a jerk bait fisherman in current or rivers, Give us a try, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, I don't know. Is there a name for this? I, I call it dead sticking. Dead sticking. And it is yeah. dead sticking. And then if you want to alleviate from dead sticking, if you can stand it every five seconds, give it a little teeny depth twitch. Yeah. Just yep. a little wrist. Yeah. There you have it, guys. Not much arm either. Look at that thing. That is incredible. That is incredible. Let's let this thing go. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That looks like it might be a different animal right there. Whoa, big one. Big one, Mike. Whoa, big one. Let me get the net. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a big one, dude. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wow, that's, that's a head shaker. That's a big one, dude. Oh, Merry Christmas! <laughs> Dude, a beast on the tube. A beast. All right, you switched it up, man, a little you know, bit. I just had to. For yeah, you felt it. It felt right. Dude, look at these fish. We were talking about this earlier, guys. I want you to see this. You see smallmouths from different parts of the country, and these smallmouths, especially in this cold water, have this distinctive, almost, what would you call it, a gold, like a, almost, a goldish yellow yeah, to it's them. A, it's like a bronze. Like a bronze. Dude, they are gorgeous fish. I love them. I love the color. That's a nice fish. That's about four pounder. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Yeah. Let's get a picture of that too, real quick. Before you let that one go. Fish. Release him, buddy. Go back there. Another good one. Oh, another good one, dude. 
Notice how quick I'm running from all my hair again. Wow. That was pulled a rod out of my hand, Mike. What a good one. Yeah. All day long. I was, I was just had a bike. I just had a bike. They were in it. Wow. Great coming. He ate that one. Dude, he ate that down his throat. Wow. Nice fish, Mike. Thanks, buddy. Should be another one there. Good 18 inches. I almost had doubles for us. That's, let me see that thing. That's three and a half. Yeah, that'd be good. All day long. Absolutely good. Chonker. <laughs> I mean. I mean, hooked up three in a row. That's what's called a scrape. You're a little scrape right there. I scrape them out sometimes. Little guy. There he goes. Big one. Got it, Mike? Yeah, big one. No, not a big one, but a, but a decent one. On the micro jig. Micro? Yeah. No, no, he's, he's not even that big. He's not that big. It's okay. You wouldn't know it by the fight, though, huh? How are you liking that new rod? Dude, pretty nice. Freaking awesome, dude. What a good move, Mike. So cool um, to be able to move around today, uh, fish different parts of the river, and really had the fish to fish. The great thing about it is, you know, we switched, we switched gears and gone to a tube, gone to a micro jig. It's a missile micro jig with a little uh, Berkeley Powerbait water bug on the back. I just cut it down. I'm gonna show you that in a separate video on how I make these micro jigs and what trailers I use. But a uh, good little wintertime bait. The tube as well. Another nice Susquehanna smallman. Yeah. Yep. First cast. I like the bait. Shoo, dude. I'm you called. Ah! That fish jumped 36. It just that fish jumped in 36 degree water. What the heck is he on steroids? Yo, dude. Yo, dude. I mean, talk about being roided up. Yeah, we. Look at that hot steel Rapala. Hot steel in his face. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Heck yeah. God. I mean, first cast. It's funny, man. Mike has a little intuition on this river. And uh, told me to pick, go back to the hot steel. I just caught one on the micro jig, missile micro jig. He told me to try that hot steel. I took one cast and caught a smallmouth. That was awesome. Mwah. It took all of one cast to get that bite. All right. Got the, this is a little micro jig, missile micro jig. Look how small that hook is, right? So this is a finesse style jig. I take a water bug, this is a Berkeley Powerbait water bug, and you could just rip or bite 
that little tail section off. Just about that much. Thread that thing on there and I just slide that up so it's all the way up over the barb. You have those little rabbit ears in the back. Looks like a little crawfish. Perfect trailer for the micro jig. Yeah. Take it right now, I can tell you that, Mike. Oh, yeah. He's cold. He's cold? <laughs> He's cold. Warm him up. Fish is cold. <laughs> Put him in my beard, he feels cold. Big one. Big one on the hot steel. 36 degree water temperature. And look at his fish fight. with hot steel oh boy look at this thing oh boy oh boy, oh boy. you really did it this time <laughs> hey! I'm gonna come there and I'm gonna break your legs hey. yeah what a net yeah hot steel that's steel. That's steel. That's steel. steel in his face. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I love it. What a day. What a day. What a day, guys. What a day. It warms my heart up, nice to see. That's so much fun. Cold water. Mike Breeding, Upper Susquehanna, x -Rap. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Got him. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. And a micro jig. Okay. How did you get a fish here, man? Look at that. Missile micro jig in his face. It's a great little winter tool, man. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. It was awesome. Fishing with my good friend Mike Breeding up here on the Upper Susquehanna. Grateful Guides. Click on the links for all the information on the baits and information on how to get a hold of Mike. It's been an awesome day. Uh, X wraps, tubes, micro jigs. Catch a smallmouth in the Susquehanna. I can't thank you enough for coming, guys. Thanks, Mike. I love coming here with you, man. It's always awesome. See you later, buddy. Bye.